I spent last summer building this into an insanely capable track car. But I have been dying to make it a little bit more unique. So far, the car is just all bolt-on parts. Today, I'm going to try my hand at building my very first piece of aero by building a spoiler or a a wing. I don't really know the difference. I'm going to be doing this as cheaply as possible and with very rudimentary tools. So even if you guys are new to cars, this is something you should be able to do yourselves at home. Full disclosure, I don't really know what I'm doing. I've never done this before. I've never really worked with anything but metal before. But I'm going to try to make a rough shape out of Bristol board. And we'll kind of cut this down to size and see if we like the look of it. Whoa. Okay, see if we're close to the body line. That looks pretty good. This doesn't need to be perfect. So I've been sitting and staring at this wing for quite a while now, and I think instead of the, the kind of ducktail style like this, I'm gonna go for more of a, a drag wing style. You could do either method with the way I'm building this. So the next question I had is, I've seen both styles online, the drag wings that come out and on the, on the tail edge, they follow the body line, and then there's also some that are squared off on the edge. And I really like the look of both of them, but I think I'm gonna end up going for the body line style one. I think that'll look a little bit sharper. So the easiest way to do that is gonna be by taking our off cut piece here and laying it right on the backside here. And hopefully this looks okay. Actually, I'm gonna do this on the workbench so I don't end up putting marker on the car. Oh yeah. That already looks way more sporty. I like that a lot. Let's get this cut. Oh yeah, that's the look for sure. That looks way better. So I'm pretty happy with the shape of this now. So I took it over to the workbench, traced it out and made another piece. And I know these aren't gonna fit. They're not gonna butt up in the middle. There's gonna be a little bit of a gap because I didn't have enough material, but I'm gonna get these taped into place and then build a bit of a structure to hold them together. And then I'll fill in the middle piece and then we can cut it out of our material. And something like that. And now I've got this random piece of door trim that I'm not using. I'm gonna tape this on here to give it a little bit of structure. And hopefully that'll hold it roughly in place. A little bit of adhesive on the car, that's okay. All right, so what I've got here is a four by eight sheet of one eighth inch hair cell ABS. I've never worked with any sort of plastic before. I didn't get to see this stuff before I bought it. I ordered it online. You guys can get this stuff a smaller sheets just at Home Depot and places like that. I think you can get two by four sheets. You might even be able to get four by eight sheets there. I got this from a, a specialty plastic store just because it was a little bit cheaper. And it's a little bit more flexible than I'd like. I'm not totally sure if this is gonna work for ap our application. It's gonna be for sure a very good prototype, but if it's too flexible, I might use something else like uh, some aluminum composite panel, ACM, stuff like that. I've also got plans for more aero in the future. I thought this stuff was gonna be a lot stiffer, so I probably will order some of that ACM regardless. Please fit, please, please, please be, at least be close. Oh yeah, that looks sick. That looks really good. Lines up with the body line so good. I'm really glad I went with the curved look too. That looks so cool. Yeah, there's a little bit of a gap in the middle here, which I'm kind of bummed about. But this, I was really worried it would be flimsy this way, and it's not. So once there's some supports underneath here, I think it's gonna be just fine, which is sick. <laughs> That's really cool. That's really cool. 
All right, so don't laugh, but the next piece we're installing is just straight up old door hinges. I might in the future end up bending up some aluminum brackets to mount this to make it a little bit cleaner. But for now, I wanted to use something that you guys would be able to easily find. And I'm not totally sure on the final rendition of this thing yet. So these are gonna be adjustable and I can remove them later if I need to. For now, I'm just gonna straight up use double-sided tape on this, on mounting it to the trunk and mounting the wing to the hinges. And there shouldn't even be a whole lot of measuring because I'm just gonna put the outside ones on the edge of the trunk and the inside ones right up against the third brake light. <laughs> Hopefully this works. Big moment of truth, but it's double-sided tape. I can remove it if I have to. But I don't think I'm gonna need to. That looks sick. That looks really, really good. <laughs> that looks really good, actually. Wow. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get this thing mounted. It looks so good. So next up, we've got these splitter rods. These things are just cheapies off of Amazon. I think they were like 10 bucks for a pack of them. And these are gonna function as rear supports for this spoiler. I know some people probably think these things look corny, but they do serve a purpose. There's gonna be way too much torque from the weight of this thing, trying to pull it off of its hinges. Wouldn't be an issue if I actually fastened it properly, but I am using double-sided tape until I know for sure that this is the final design that I wanna go with. The most important edges I think are gonna be these far outside corners here. And it's gonna go something like that. I'd like to keep a little bit of symmetry across the rest of the spoiler. So first up, we're gonna drill these outside edges and then we can get... <sighs> the hardware just fell off. We gotta drill these outside edges and then we can put the spoiler in place and get those outer splitter rods on to support the weight of it. And then we can figure out the inner ones. Will I ever see that hardware again? Probably not. That sucks. Oh yes, there it is. That would have put a damper on things. It stinks like gas in here. I'm gonna put this sucker half inch in on either side. And drilled it on the wrong edge, but that's okay because I need a hole here anyways. Okay, this is more than a little bit scary. This is, we kind of only, we, we kind of only have one shot to get this on here right. Probably should have wiped this off first considering I'm dusty too. Okay. Let's hope that we get this on here straight. Hopefully that's good. That's pretty good. It might be a millimeter to the passenger side, but I don't think anybody but me is gonna notice that. Wow, this is holding on way better than I thought. I thought it was gonna be trying to peel itself off. This is sick. Okay, I'm gonna quickly slam this on here so it doesn't fall. Oh my God, the hardware keeps falling off. Again, I'm using double-sided tape on this end because I don't want to make anything. I don't want to drill any holes until I know that I like everything. That's, that looks pretty sick. That looks very cool. Holy sh... Okay. It's just on there loosely, but that follows the body line really nice. That looks so cool. I actually really like the look of that strut under there too. It's kind of hidden. Big fan. That looks so good. I'm definitely gonna need to get some better hardware for those uh, splitter rods, struts, whatever you wanna call them, just because they keep falling apart. I knew they'd be cheap, but they're a little bit cheaper than I expected. But this looks 
so much better than I expected. I'm, I'm very happy with this. All right, now I've got to decide if I want to try to keep making these symmetrical like that, or do I want to have them, I feel like that looks cool because they're front and center, but they're a little bit less, it looks almost too busy. Yeah, I kind of think I should go in here. Now I've got this spoiler set up in a position that I'm pretty happy with. It's angled down just a touch, a little bit more than I'd like. It's probably hard to tell on camera. So I'm gonna drill the holes for those splitters now on the trunk and I'm gonna move them inwards just, just a little bit to angle that up just a bit. And I, I also have a little bit of adjustability in the splitters as well. So I already know the size because I've drilled holes here. We've got our center punch, so let's make some holes in the trunk. <laughs> it's kind of a scary step. This is turning out way cooler than I ever expected. I got the last two splitters on here. I didn't film that because I figured you guys don't want to watch me do the same thing over and over again. And it's definitely not picking up on camera how cool this looks, but I, I am so happy with that. I, I think this looks sick. And we're not even at the coolest part yet. The part that I've been most excited about, been kind of deliberating on for a little while now, is putting on some end pieces here. And I think we've got the perfect piece for that. We've got the old off cut from making the initial wing. This piece here, I'm gonna cut this, a couple pieces off of this. Let me, let me just show you here. Not gonna be a great example, but I want to, I'm gonna cut it a little bit longer than I need to for now, because I kind of want to have a little bit sticking out there. I'm not totally sure yet, and I may not end up using these pieces. I, I might want something that hangs down a little bit farther but this will be a good proof of concept and it's just a piece of scrap anyways, but I think it would look pretty cool to have a little bit sticking out past the end there, make it look a little bit more aggressive. I don't know how and how much I need. It looks pretty cool, but it might be a bit corny. Either way, let's cut this up and see how it looks. It's also worth mentioning that this is a lot sturdier than I thought it would be. The sheet of ABS, like this stuff is pretty flimsy. These splitters made it a lot stiffer than I expected. They're making noise because they're still loose right now, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I may end up switching to a different material in the future and getting some, get some like higher end splitter rods and make some proper brackets and stuff. But this has been very cheap. This is something that you guys could definitely do at home. And for how it's turning out so far, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, let's get a marker here. I've been so excited to see this. <laughs> that looks, <laughs> that's way too much, but that's pretty cool. That's pretty freaking cool. I've also been kind of debating back and forth whether I should have it angled like this following the body line, or if I should just have it square and cut this angle to follow the body line. I'm kind of thinking square might be the move. So it makes sense to have this in line with the edge of the spoiler, but I need to actually have it perpendicular with this edge so that when I bend it, it isn't some sort of weird freaky compound bend. I've got this cheap little Harbor Freight style bender. I think it's from Princess Auto, which is kind of our equivalent to Harbor Freight. Um, and like I've been trying to do with this whole thing, you don't need to have these tools. Just use a vise and a hammer. Same with cutting the aluminum. You can just use a little tiny hacksaw. I'm, using some of these tools because I've got them, but you absolutely don't need them to do this project. I don't have any way of measuring the exact bend that I want. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball. Let's try that to start. Sticking out a little bit, but not bad. This is turning out really nice. I'm not really going to be able to show you it on the car just yet. I need an extra set of hands or some Clecos or something to hold this in place. I don't want to rivet it on just yet because I'm going to add another bracket, maybe two thirds of the way down here. I don't want to do it at the very end. I'd like to use this hole, but there's not enough meat in the tip of this thing to drill another hole. So 
I'll clean this up and make a few more of them. You guys probably don't want to watch me do the same thing three more times, so we'll check back in when these are done. It's not fitting great, but I think it has something to do with that I didn't get that rivet totally flush. So I'm going to have to drill that out, which is kind of annoying because it's not supported super well in this corner. But I'll drill it out, pop that back in, and then maybe this will be potentially lined up a little bit better, hopefully. This is very frustrating. This isn't lining up at all. This one isn't really lining up that well either. It's tucked underneath the top right here and then it sticks. Yeah, that looks way wonky on camera. Uh, okay, I guess I'm redoing this piece. That's really frustrating. Well, what are you doing? Don't slide down like that. It was working and now it's not working. Holy cow, that's frustrating. There we go, easy. For now, it's good enough. It's, it's mounted with door hinges for God's sakes. It's, it's good enough. Now on this side, I opted to rivet the tabs on before I put it on the car. And this has been so much easier. It, everything, I don't need three sets of hands. I was able to line everything up really nicely. Both the rivet holes line up. <laughs> that looks so sick. I need to move all the tools and stuff off of it, but man, that looks so freaking cool. Lines up with the body lines pretty good. I don't know how well that's picking up on camera, but pretty flush with the body lines. Not the exact same angle, but if I angled it out too much, I was worried it would be catching the wind and trying to rip itself off the car. That looks so freaking cool. This side, not as cool from here. Not bad. Probably looks good from your house, but still lines up the body lines really nicely. I am. I'm thrilled with this. This thing looks so cool. I'm really glad I put those little wings on. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. 